this episode is to help you with self-improvement okay. we'll explain the power of investing in yourself ah, what does it mean yeah. to invest in yourself mm-hmm. why it's important to invest in yourself and we're gonna give you some tips on how to invest in yourself all right all so right that you can start making your life better and gain more success while you're doing it exactly so we might as well get right into it Welcome to another episode of Work Boss Strategies, unlocking the secrets to entrepreneurial success. We give you the tips and tricks to empower your business growth. I'm your host, Darv S, and the other host with the most over there. Gabe D, baby. Gabe D. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Work Boss Strategy. Hey, if we got a good one for you today, Darv S, what are we going to talk about today, man? Grab them pens. Grab your notepads. Hit pause if you got to write this stuff down. The first thing we're going to talk about, what does it mean to invest in yourself? Right. To me, investing in yourself ain't about going to buy a new pair of Jordans, boost your ego up, or buying a necklace so you feel fly, or getting that club for the outfit so you look good. It's about spending time, energy, and maybe a little bit of money on improving yourself in any way you feel you need to improve. That's what investing in yourself means to me. Mm -hmm. It's spending time on yourself, focusing on the real. You got to be real. You got to be real with yourself. So Mm -hmm. if y'all didn't see our first episode where I talked about the SWAT team, Mm -hmm. SWOT is you understand your strengths, understand your weaknesses, figure out where your best opportunities are and the T stands for threats like what would threaten me to not get where I need to get so if you need to go back and watch the first show you understand what the SWAT team is about all of that is about investing in yourself know my strengths and my weaknesses that's important any weaknesses I got I know that's what I can improve on if you're already strong or you can get stronger but you're already strong Weak. Right. If you're weak in this area, you can do things to strengthen that up and make it one of your strengths. So that, that's what what it means to me to invest in yourself is figuring out ways to improve yourself without spending right. buku amounts of money. It's not about spending money on yourself. It's about spending time and focus on improving what you need to improve. If you're trying to look for success, more success, right. better life, get mm-hmm. healthier, all that kind of stuff. There are things you're going to have to invest in to make your life better. You can't just sit there. We all know the definition of insanity, right? Right. Is when you keep doing the same old thing, but you're mm-hmm. sitting here expecting something different to happen. Like, you, you got to be real with yourself. Right. Understand mm-hmm. that we all have room for improvement somewhere. Don't think you're flawless. Ain't nobody flawless. No. So if you're going around thinking you don't have any issues, that's an issue. That's an issue, right? We there. all got something we can improve on. So <laughs> invest in yourself, focus, spend some time on yourself, reflect on what you would like better, and then spend time and any kind of resources that you have to make sure you come up with a plan to start improving and getting better. That's what it means to invest in yourself. What you got for that, mm-hmm. big bro? You're up. You're right on point. I mean, plain and simple, man. You, you you got to invest in whatever it is you do to make money so that you can make more money. <laughs> it's plain and simple as that. Whatever it is you do to make money and, and you like doing that, that's what you invest. You invest your time, your money, your energy, and so that you can grow in doing that, so that you can be successful and be happy. That's one of the, you know, that, that's exactly how you, you you said it right, man. You, you broke it down for him. I took some notes, man. I, it looked like I wasn't. I'm just sitting here, but I don't already took my notes and everything. So you got to know what it is. Uh, first of all, that you're passionate about. What is it that you want to do? Once you find out what it is you want to do, then that's when you 
gravitate your time and your energy to learn about it, to, to grow with it and everything. So uh, that, that's what it means, man. That's what it means right there. To invest in yourself. I got you. And if y'all, if y'all need to go check out the first episode mm-hmm. where I talk about the SWAT team, I, I break it down. And you can start to implement it into your daily routine. There's nothing you got to buy. You just will start figuring out how to improve yourself from just figuring out what the SWAT team is. SWOT. Exactly. So go back to the very first episode. Mm-hmm. That's right. the what does it mean? Now, the That's why the it's important to invest in yourself. Why do you think it's important to invest in yourself? This, this is a. Uh... Now we're going to get down to the nitty gritty of it. This is the nitty gritty. But uh, before I say why, man, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, all right? We out here. Yes. We're we giving you some nuggets and everything. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, Work Boss Strategy. So now let me get on into why. Why should you invest in yourself? Because only you know what will make you happy. Only you know what will make you happy, right? So... You're going to invest your time and your energy into what's going to make you happy. If you uh, you like cooking, you're going to invest it. You're going to start watching cooking shows. You're going to go to school, to a culinary school. You're going to um, try new recipes and everything. You're going to do whatever it is it takes to invest in that that you like doing. You like cooking? All right. If you like playing sports, you're going to invest because you got different sports. If you like football, you like basketball. So if you're a football player, you're going to invest time. You're going to stretch train. You're going to learn a position you want to play. You're going to um, you do what it takes to get your body prepared for that sport. If you like basketball, you're going, to do what you're, you're going to do what it takes to get your body prepared and your mind prepared to do that sport. You like baseball. You like soccer. On and on. Whatever it is, man, you're going to do Whatever it takes to make you happy and be successful, successful. So you most definitely not going to be go get a regular nine to five job. That might not be where you want to be at. See what I mean? Might not be where you want to be at. So you're just doing it just to do it. But really, your mind and your your heart, you want to do this over here. So what's going to happen is you're going to start you know work because you got to pay these bills. But then you're going to start investing time in what you want to do. You're going to gravitate to that. You're going to put your money into that. You're going to put your time into that. And that, that's yep. pretty much what everybody does. So, it's, it's, it's extremely important mm-hmm. to invest in yourself. Extremely and important. Investing in yourself will help you build up confidence. Mm. You'll start to build up confidence because you'll start to believe in yourself even right. when other people don't. Oh, exactly. Exactly. It's almost like um, a football coach, basketball coach, mm-hmm. or if you do do sports or, or whatever, they see the potential in you sometimes when you don't see it in yourself. Right. And then it's their job to push you to bring it out so that you can start to see it. And then once you realize the potential is now actual, like you can actually do this, it's not a potential right. anymore, your confidence boosts up. It's some mm-hmm. players on the team, they don't want to take the last shot. It's right. some players on the team, give me the ball every play. Every play. <laughs> it's just they believe in themselves <laughs> that much. Right, right. Because they, they invest in going to practice more than other people. Even when there isn't practice, they still somewhere practice. Mm-hmm. You can, you can right. use that at work. Sometimes you you notice if you, if you have a nine to five job, there are some people mm-hmm. that come to work, they clock in, and they try to do the least amount without getting fired. And then they clock right out. As soon as that time hit the time they're ready to clock out, they clock out. And there's other people still there. Right, right, right. There's other people still hanging around. Time. They off the clock and they're still lingering around talking to people. Mm-hmm. They're investing right. in something. And then as soon as that guy gets the promotion, you'll say he's a butt kisser. Right, right. Now he did. A, he showed them a little bit more potential than you did. They see you come to work, you do your job and leave. He comes to work and he does a little extra for no reason. But it That's is for right. a reason. Mm-hmm. He's investing in and trying to plan a position where he's locked in, right. where you might get laid off. They see more potential in him. Exactly. And he's actually doing things. 
So you can use that in your everyday life. It's important to invest in yourself. First of all, it will help you build a growth mindset. Mm. Growing. That means right. every day I want to learn something new about myself. Every day I want to learn okay. something new. It'll help. It'll help my skills improve. The more knowledge I got, the better I'm going to be off in the end. And the smarter you are, most smart people are pretty confident. Oh yeah, because they no they know something that you don't know. Mm-hmm. So they're confident about it. So you build up confidence. And the, what's important about the growth mindset? Most people are on a fixed mindset. I'm gonna go to work. I'm gonna get this check. I'm gonna pay my bills. And then the next week, I'm going to go to work. I'm going to pay these bills. And then I'm going to go to work. And I'm going to pay these bills. That's a fixed mindset. You're you're, you're not growing. Right. You're going to be stuck doing that. Just because you're not doing anything different. So you're just content. You're stagnant. You're, You're staying here. You're not elevating. You're not declining. You're just right here. Plateau. And some people say... I've been here for three years. I'm getting tired of this. Yeah, Mm -hmm. I'm getting my check. I'm paying my bills. And then I really don't have much to show. Right. So they would invest. Okay, can I get a higher position up at the job? What do I need to do? So they might take a class on the weekend. Something that's involved in their job. Or they'll get a second job and start to accumulate more skills. Because now they got this job, they got that job. And you... You're starting to grow more knowledge and skills. Mm-hmm. So you, you build your confidence. A growth mindset and the fixed mindset is the difference between an employee and an entrepreneur. An entrepreneur oh. will take educated risk. Mm-hmm. I'm going to put this money up over here. And then the risk is I could lose it. But the reward is I can make more money from this money I just invested in that. They'll take a risk. Somebody right. with a fixed mindset is saying, I get $18 an hour. I work 40 to 50 hours a week. And I know this check is going to be this. And then I could pay my bills and do this stuff. I just want to live comfortable. And then most right. of the time, they're not comfortable. They're mm-hmm. only comfortable because they know in the next week or two, this check is going to come back to put their head back above water. They're not going to take any risk. Mm-hmm. They're not going they to just, take any risk. They're going to play it safe. They're going to right. take the safe way out. And if you want to make more money, you have to take risk. Not goofy mm-hmm. risk. You do research. You make plans. You set goals. And you do things to set these goals up. And you have a list that you can follow, like a guideline. Okay, I did this. This is next. I did. It's just right. like when you're going to the grocery store. You have a list of things you need to get and you're not done grocery shopping until all those things are checked off the list. Wow. It's the same thing with investing in yourself. You make a list of what you need to do. (laughs) Don't cross it off if it's not finished. Once it's crossed off, you can can move to the next thing. Now you're growing. You're going to be... That is funny. That's funny how you said that grocery store one because check it out. A person that makes a list, you make your grocery, that's why they tell you, you make your grocery list, you just sat down and you made the plan. So you walk in that store, all right, check this off, check this off, I got this, I got this, I got this, check this off, got this. Now, when you go to the grocery store, you don't have a list. You might have an idea what you want, but you'll notice when you ain't got no list, you'll be to spend more money than what you really originally wanted to do. Every time, because you'll go in that store, you ain't got no list. So a list is something that you make because you know this is what you need. Now, when you go in the store with no list, you're like, you'll, you'll see something. You know what? Hey, I can use that. Put that in the bucket. Oh, yeah. You know what? Uh, yeah, let me get that cleaner over here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me get these cookies over here. Yeah. Let me get. Oh, yeah. You know what? How much bread do I got? Do I got enough bread? You might have two loaves, but you can't remember because you done forgot where you put the loaves of bread at. But you ain't got no lips, cause you know, so you would spend more money or more time because you didn't make you didn't make your plan, you didn't make your list. Man, that's just slick. I like how you did that. Yeah, more <laughs> money, more time, and more energy. You might go in the same aisle three times. Three times. 
Now, if you had a list of, okay, I'm going to get all my meats first. So you just over right. in the refrigerator section. I'm going to go over here with the breads and the cereals. So you only in that right. aisle once. So you'll be in the mm -hmm. store 10, 15 minutes. But when you don't know what you want to get, now you're buying all you the impulse. Oh, that's on sale? Now you're just getting stuff. Now you didn't spend more money. You only went in there right. for milk. You only went in there for milk. You only needed milk and butter. Now you, didn't, you came out with a grocery full. Stuff. Yeah, you didn't see some batteries. You know? For the list with yourself, if you don't have an idea, right. you start doing all... Like, imagine you got a grocery list. Mm -hmm. And you're on your way to the store, and then you say, I'm going to go to Fred's house for a minute. That ain't on the Whoa. list. Whoa. That ain't on the list. You, you didn't got distracted. Time, getting your list <laughs> taken care of. Right, you right. achieved your goal of getting the stuff on the grocery store list. You stopped by Ted's house for a minute. Mm -hmm. Get the list out the way. It's the same thing yeah. with, with with life. You, you make a list. This is pretty mm -hmm. much going to go into the house. Right. But you got to make a list and set goals for yourself. Small ones. Little ones. Small mm -hmm. little itty bitty goals. And then they will build up. And they will lead you to achieving a bigger goal that you might not even have thought was a goal. Right. So that it, that's why yeah. it's important to invest in yourself. If any All those things are investments. Or invested in yourself. Why don't y'all write in the comments what y'all doing to invest in yourself? It don't got to be about money. Like, yeah, it don't got to be about money. People think it's about money all the time. Yeah. Hit us in the comments, man. Let us know what it is you do to invest in yourself to make yourself better. What, are they, what steps are you taking to invest in yourself? Let us know. So somebody we, else know. will read the comments and it'll help them just like this stuff is helping. Right. Exactly. It's power like numbers, baby. Power numbers, baby. Let me go ahead and put that. That's going to be my next little, uh, my next meme. Power numbers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, we can move into, mm -hmm. so you understand what investing in yourself is. Right. We just went over why it's important to invest in yourself. Mm -hmm. Now we can give you some tips on how. You might not know how. Yeah. You might be thinking investing in yourself is just going to school. Or investing mm -hmm. yourself is paying for this or paying for that. It's not always about money. Right. A broke person can invest in themselves. Yeah. Cause Sometimes it just takes you sit there figuring out why I'm broke mm -hmm. when you got fired from all your jobs. That's one. Right. Right. <laughs> Stop getting fired. Like, why you keep getting fired? Well, I was like the one, fired. and then I wasn't likable on the second one, and on the third one, I kept, I got caught stealing supplies. Well, yeah, that's why you got fired then. If you got to work on that, then maybe you can keep a job and you won't be broke. Right. You're right. That's free. But you got, that's free. That's a free investment. You got to take, you got to take down. <laughs> take take some notes on yourself. Yeah, take some make, like, when you make that list. Yeah, when you make that list, make that first sit down and make a list on yourself. So you want to invest in yourself. This is how you do it. You sit down and you make a list of all right, the pros and cons of you. You know you better than anybody else. You sit there, make, well, you know I do like to procrastinate a lot. I. I'm going to go ahead and admit that. I, I know I'm supposed to be up at 8 o'clock, but I I can never seem to get up. Like, I see it roll around on the clock, but then I'm looking at it. I'm like, man, it's 7.57. I can go ahead and take a quick sleep for three minutes. <laughs> a three-minute <laughs> snooze. A three-minute snooze. Yeah, you're like, man. You know how many you... people set their alarm. <laughs> right. They set it. It, it set comes it. on. And they hit the mm -hmm. snooze five times? Five times. But it check, that ain't even the funny part. The funny part, you hit the snooze, right? You, you set the snooze for five minutes. You wake up at three minutes and 20 seconds. Be like, man, I got two, two more minutes left. Then you try to you try to lay there and sleep for two minutes a day. But you're sleeping, but subconsciously you're like, oh, I know that time will come on. You'll wake up maybe 15 seconds before the snooze come up. This is how they do it. You wake up. Oh man, I got one more minute. I can sleep. <laughs> and again, and man. Be more tired, but we we continue to do it anyway. We continue to do it anyway, man. We continue to do it. 
<laughs> oh man, so that that's one thing. Procrastination, man. You put that on your list. If you're a procrastinator, go be honest with yourself, man. Be honest with yourself. Be real. All right. Say you know your character. If you don't get along with people, you know it's something about your character that you know you always in an argument with somebody. You always you always the one. It be it's a whole bunch. You got fifteen hundred people in the plant. It's nice and quiet. Soon as somebody hears a noise, they know to look right at you. Because they know you the one, always. No matter what kind of stuff. So you be honest with yourself. Are you that person that's always in the mix of something? <laughs> Put it on the list. I, I need to work on my character. I know I need to work that's on my also character. That's part of that SWAT team. That's part of that SWAT team, man. I tell y'all what my SWAT team is. My strengths... Mm-hmm. I got all kind of talents. Right. And the reason I can say that is because I invested in learning things I was interested about. You said find things you interested about and invest in that. Exactly. Like if you're yeah. a cook, mm-hmm. you start buying cookbooks, trying new recipes, you watch more cooking right. shows, you try out new seasonings, you do all kind of stuff because mm-hmm. you're interested in cooking. And right. when you're doing something you're interested in, you'll do it all day and not know that the day went by. Exactly. It won't feel like work. Work feels like work. It won't work. feel like work. <laughs> you don't want to be there. Mm-hmm. The only thing that right. keeps you going to work on time is a check coming. You, 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 exactly. Imagine you know you're you going to get fired. Monetize some money from something that you've invested enough time and energy. You know, mm-hmm. I can get paid from this. I like doing this. Right. You make cookies on the side. Now your cookies are so good. You make them the, mm-hmm. they're the same every time. Now you're like, Same. I could sell these at church. I could sell these over here. I could sell these. I could go to the beauty salon and make mm-hmm. a package up and sell them. Now you're making money from something you used to like to do. Now you're just, you're always baking at the house. Like that's what's important right. about finding something you're interested in. So mm-hmm. my SWAT team is, my strengths, I know what my strengths are. I'm kind of good with, with people, even though I don't mm-hmm. like, I'm not a people person, but I'm good with communicating with people. They like me. Right. Right. So it helps me with networking, conversating with people. Mm-hmm. I like to learn from people. So I'm open minded. I'm not closed minded and I'm only stuck on what I'm thinking. If somebody right. says something interesting and it'll make me change my thought, I'm like, hmm. So I know my mm-hmm. strengths. My weaknesses is I procrastinate. I'm not that organized. I'm more of a wing it kind of guy. I've always right. been that way. Like I'm not mm-hmm. a when it comes to me setting up a plan like when we planned on doing this podcast I had a plan like that grocery list scenario we had a right right right. I'm just unorganized with some things not everything Mm -hmm. so it's just a weakness Mm -hmm. right it's just one of the flaws I got um Mm -hmm. one of my weaknesses is when it comes to time (laughs) (laughs) When when it comes to me using my time to mm-hmm. please someone else. Like, I gotta be on time for your thing. I might be late. <laughs> I, I just <laughs> might be late. Right, right, right. <laughs> you can call it selfish. Like, you having a birthday party that started at 7. You can expect me at 9. You can expect... <laughs> but, like, things that's for me, like going to the gym, always on time mm-hmm. for the gym. Always, always on, time. on time for the gym. I'm not gonna go to work late. Right, right. Work late. Mm -hmm. I'm bad at time management, but when I need to edit and I got a radio show and I got to make sure this other show is ready to get posted up, I manage my time according to those things. I'm not late on. I'm going to edit for two hours. And then after that two hour mark, I'm going to just hit save, close it out. And now I got to work on this or I got to go to the radio station. When a radio station done, then I come home. Might have to go to the gym or something. Then after that, right. they done. Mm-hmm. I manage my time like that. But I'm really a wing it kind of guy. When it's just when it's no purpose, I'm a right, right, right. But if I have a purpose, then I, I plan my set my goals, make my list, and do all of that. So I know my weaknesses and my threats is sometimes being in the house 
will threaten me from doing what I got to do because it's so comfortable. There's TVs, video games, computers, laptops. I can get on my phone and play a game and just right. go on that. You ever been in a YouTube vortex where you look at one video you meant to look at? Oh. Now you're on it for an hour just looking at all kind of stuff. That's all kind of stuff. Something could have been done. So <laughs> I know, like, just sitting around, I don't like to just sit around. Mm-hmm. It's threatening me from the opportunities I got. Right. It'll threaten me. It'll distract me. Man, just sit down and relax, man. The game on. <laughs> I got my phone. I can watch the game anywhere I want to. Right. So it's like uh, I know I know what threatens me. Festive things, parties. <laughs> if you go to a party, how you being productive with the other stuff you need to do? Right, right, right. <laughs> I'm in Orlando. There's all kind of tourist attractions. They want to keep you here. Right. It's it's all day distractions, just all over the place. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, let me let me keep myself away from the things that'll distract me from doing what I got to do. Because I know myself. I know my weaknesses. That's what's important right. about making that list. Right. Another way to invest in yourself. Another way to invest in yourself. I give you. A couple ways. Okay. To the best, the best ways to invest in yourself. Now, One of them. wait a minute, Darth D. Darth S, yeah. check this out. What you about to give them? Are these the tips of the day, or are you just giving them some 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 nuggets? These could be the tips of the day. These could be the tips of the day. We could put this under tips of the day. Okay, good. We're gonna put this under tips of the day. Hey, Amen. Remember what I said, man. Subscribe to the channel, man. Work Boss Strategy to get these tips of the day. Darv has to be giving them out, man. Take note. Get your pen. Get your pen. Take these notes, man. (laughs) Yes, sir. Go ahead with them. This first one is important to me. Because it's what what I had to do. First of all, you be real with yourself, like you said. Be honest with yourself. Write mm-hmm. a list of things that you know you need to improve on. Right. But this one here is important to me. Breaking okay. a bad habit. Ooh, man, yeah. Break yeah. one of your bad habits. Okay. Like I had hold this, on, on. this Ooh, idea. Get, get it. Break a bad habit. Mm-hmm. You know you got a bad habit. <laughs> Every time you get mad, you pull out a cookie. <laughs> That's called stress eating. That's stress eating. You don't need to do right. that. You focus more on why you feel that way and then do something more rewarding to change mm-hmm. your attitude. Okay. A positive mindset always overwhelms a negative mindset. Mm-hmm. It's like there's two people on the earth. Right. One will get on the airplane. Now, you just tell me which one you would rather sit by on a full flight. Y'all, get, y'all getting on the plane. And as soon as the right. first person sits down, they talking about being worried it's going to be turbulence. Mm-hmm. Then they talk about, I hope we don't go through no storms. <laughs> then they talk about how bad the flight might be. They talking about right. how bad the landing might be. Yeah, those are all possibilities. Right. And then the second person sits next to you on the right. Mm-hmm. They're excited to be on the plane. They're right. talking about how amazing it is to be that high in the air. Nobody mm-hmm. to bother. They're talking about right. how nice the flight's going to be. They're talking mm-hmm. to you about what they're going to do when the plane lands. Now, which one would you rather have a conversation with through the whole flight? Well, definitely the, first the second. Super, the first one is a pessimist. They're thinking of all mm-hmm. the negative possibilities that might be happening. They have a possibility to happen. Right. The person on that the trash. second person that came in got a different energy about them. They're talking about how exactly. nice the flight is, how nice the flight mm-hmm. gonna be. And as soon as this plane land, this is what I'm gonna do. Mm-hmm. They already have an optimistic mindset, like, I'm gonna have a great time on this flight. Where the other person, right. like, I hope the captain ain't hung over. <laughs> do you know the captain or something? Like, why, why is you that even a thought? <laughs> Right. Who would think that? <laughs> so you got negative people and positive people. Get right. the negative people away from you. 
Exactly. Or block them mm -hmm. out. If you're on mm -hmm. a flight and one next to you, you just got to block them out. But it's too tight. Exactly. Too. So too it's tight. negative. You, you need to break that habit. You're only going to break mm -hmm. that habit by changing your thought process, your belief system, which might mm -hmm. mean you might need some professional counseling. Yeah. Because you're trying to change what you already believe. Yeah. If you're automatically negative about everything, mm -hmm. that's a habit you need to break, but you might need professional help, which is also a way of investing in yourself. You're going to get better. Yeah. You're going, going to, to get better. You're going to better yourself. Because yeah. a lot of times, because what you said was get, you might need professional help. A lot of times it's a stigma on like um, going to get professional help. You're like, oh man, I ain't crazy. That's not what nobody's saying. Nobody's saying you're crazy. Maybe you is, maybe you ain't. I don't know. But <laughs> <laughs> to break that habit, man, <laughs> to break that habit of having that negative mindset, because when you have that negative mindset, that negative energy, it's energy. Everything we produce, it's going to be positive energy or negative energy. But you can transfer that energy onto somebody. So why would you want to transfer negative energy on somebody, especially somebody you don't even know? See what I'm saying? So, getting professional help. Uh, go talk to somebody. That's what the mentorships is for. You got to know. Yeah. You got to know your mentorship. Get mentored. And um, that's another reason, another uh, one of the hows, how to invest in yourself. A mentor. Get you a mentor. Yeah. So, you can be, you can better yourself. You don't, and that's the difference. Um, positive people, negative people. That's another, how do you invest in yourself? How? You stay away from negativity. <laughs> you stay away from negativity. If you're trying to grow and you want to be in business, right? You got to be around other business-minded people. You got to be around other business-minded people. Why would you, you want to start a, a business, uh, say, okay, man, I'm about to open up this store, man, and uh, I need to learn how to categorize my products and stuff like this. So why would you go hang with June June and Ray Ray and them, and all they doing is sitting there watching TV, eating chips, or drinking beer, smoking, and stuff like that. They don't care nothing about what you're trying to do. They trying to keep you down there with them. So it's more company down there with them. All y'all just sitting back talking about, so, hey, look at them, look at them. They're just sitting there talking. You hang with people. You put yourself with people with like-minded things. Business people, get you a mentor, man. So he can keep you accountable in your daily steps. That's how you do that. And I love how you do that. Get you some professional help. Yeah. It is it's all in your mindset. Because people right. people will go to counseling and think, I got a problem. Mm -hmm. I went to counseling and I thought I'm going there to work on a problem. It's a different right. mindset. A different I'm not mindset. going to counseling because I got a problem, I got an issue. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I went to counseling to get better at handling this issue, managing this issue, or getting rid of the issue. You gotta right. have a different mindset. Right. And that, that comes with mental training. You might need, mm -hmm. you either need a mentor or counselor, it's all the same. You need somebody right. that can guide you through what they've been through on your professional mm -hmm. journey. Right. And that ties into another how, which is you have to focus on your mental health. It's real important. How you yes. gonna be happy if you always sad? Right. People just always sad mm -hmm. don't have the skill to appreciate the things they do have. Right. Like some people are just not happy with being alive. Mm -hmm. And it's a great gift. It's just because mm -hmm. the experience is they experience that, they keep thinking negative, and negative things happen to you. Right. It's a it's a it's a term called speak it into existence. Mm -hmm. So if you keep right. talking about negative stuff, what do you think is going to exist? Negative stuff. Negative stuff. If you flip it in, a, you know what? One day I'm going to make a lot of money. Okay, mm -hmm. that's the first step. That's the second first step. step is doing things that influence later on you having a lot of money. The second so step. Your mental health. Your mm -hmm. mental health. You see that package behind me? Indeed. Those are focus packages and for energy. They help me focus. They help me remember stuff. Mm -hmm. It keeps me in a good mood on top of all of that right. so I can get my stuff done. So exactly, your diet is important. The, the stuff you eat, 
mm -hmm. impacts how you feel and think. Processed right. foods. I don't do none of that processed food stuff. You're not mm -hmm. gonna see me with no microwave TV dinner. <laughs> not gonna do that. Not gonna happen. Nope. <laughs> I'd rather go to sleep hungry and then you be so <laughs> hungry the next day, you'll eat vegetables. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> give me these green beans. Yeah, yeah, check this out. Give me these green beans, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make a green bean sandwich. <laughs> Two slices of lettuce, green beans, eat a sandwich. You'll be that hungry. You're right. Mm -hmm. And it'll taste good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pay attention. Be conscious of your mental health. Be conscious right. of your mental health. Be conscious of your mental health, man. Your mental status, man. That stuff back there yes. has helped me a great deal. Yes. Like just today, I put one of them dang on patches on. It's just a patch. It's nothing you got to intake in your mouth. You just put the patch on your shoulder. Right. And the next thing you know, you going to have energy. You're going to be thinking, I just want to read for some reason. Like <laughs> You just be focused on whatever you... So that's why it's good to have a plan. I didn't have a plan, so it just told me, go to the gym this morning. <laughs> right. <laughs> I needed to burn that energy off some kind of. I had a lot of energy. And I right, right. Coffee. Hey, you drink coffee. So you, you got that coffee to do you float. thing. So I'm just, <laughs> I was riding high, boy. It's oh, my right. off day. I woke up, at, it's my off day from work. And I woke up in the morning and went to the gym. It was a good investment. Hey, that's a live good. That's a good investment. That's a good investment. Keep your mental right there. You see my investments. Get the help you need to get. Work mm -hmm. on them habits, man. Improve on your bad habits. Turn your bad habits right. into good ones. Yeah. What other one I got for them? Let me look at my notes. We, yeah, we yeah, talked yeah. about the list. Setting goals right. for yourself. Right. Like, let's say it's 2024. And for some reason, right. the gym's been packed this January. Yep. They've been packed. Packed. So people have this. Every time it's a new year, people have mm -hmm. these different goals. Right. And most of right. them is about, I want to be in better shape. I want to be a little bit healthier. It did by mm -hmm. like the middle of February, it start dying off. Yep. It start dying off. But every January, I see these places packed. Because oh, you, yeah. you're trying to do your New Year's resolution. I want to go to the gym. But sometimes you don't mm -hmm. have a plan to stay consistent with. You just had a thought, I'm going to get a gym membership. Right. Okay, that's the first step. But the second right. step is, what you going to do when you get there? Yeah, what you going to do? How often you are you going to get a personal trainer? How long are you going to go? Mm -hmm. what, are you, what are you going to work on? Just go what is it you want to work, work on? You will, you will get there, and then in your mind, you'll be like, I don't know how to use none of this equipment. You will leave. Right. You will leave. Nice. You have a detailed plan, a small plan. I'm going to go to the gym on Monday for 15 minutes. Right. Just to get used to everything. I'm mm -hmm. just go around and see what I'm comfortable on working with. Maybe I just might get on the exercise bike for 15 right. minutes. Mm -hmm. So you have, a, you have a list of the things... This is what I'm going to do at the gym Monday. This is what I'm going to do Tuesday. This is what I'm going to do Wednesday. Right. Thursday. Take a day off, rest, and then the rest of the mm -hmm. days finish up. But when you have a list like that grocery list, you got something to follow. Right. I'm going to do this for 15 minutes. Oh, tomorrow I'm going to do this. The next day mm -hmm. I'm going to do that. <clears throat> It'll Steps. help you become consistent. Right. Without a plan, you just willy-nilly. You just, you're like a leaf in the wind. You'll, you'll go anywhere. Yeah, he just you, know, you don't have a time limit. You, mm -mm. you just walking around. You just in the gym walking around looking. Yeah. <laughs> you just out there looking. That's all you're doing. I'm, yeah, you hey, what's up, man? How you doing? What you, what you coming to do? Oh, no, no. I'm just sitting here looking. So set small goals. Like, let's small go back goals. to you interested in cooking. Oh, yeah. Don't just say, I'm going to be a gourmet cook. Right. Yeah, that's like the broad scheme of things, but let's work mm -hmm. on a gourmet dish first. Like, can you master one dish? Like, get better right. at cooking this. Or mm -hmm. find out five ways to cook this. Like, you, you build yeah. up to being a, a gourmet chef can make stuff out of whatever you give them. So, yeah. just figure out, okay, I'm going to take chicken this week, and I'm going to figure out 
five different ways to make chicken. Mm. Not just baked, fried, and grilled. Right. Maybe you do pulled chicken like you 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 build up on your repertoire with exactly. a plan. Okay, I'm gonna do this, mm-hmm. and then I'm gonna work on vegetables. Like what vegetables go good together? What spices go? Good? I'm gonna just start mixing stuff up. See what tastes good. See what don't. Like you start building from your small goals. Make a small goal. I'm only gonna work on this one meat right now. Forget being a gourmet chef. You right. gotta know what all the meats are. What they do, how you can cook them before you can start making a meal out of all of these things. Right. So make you just, you just in the kitchen. When I start going to the gym. I didn't just say I'm gonna go to the gym for two hours. Mm-hmm. That's not what I did. When I first started going to the gym, I said I'm gonna go for 30 minutes because I know right. working out every day, even without a gym, working out for 15 to 30 minutes a day helps your heart, helps mm-hmm. your dopamine levels. You're getting fluid to your brain. You start thinking quicker. Right. You know what I'm saying? It works on your energy, keeps your circulation right. So it's just benefits. And just if you just went outside and did jumping jacks for 15 minutes, it's better than right. sitting on the couch for three hours. Just watching TV. TV making snacks. I made small goals. I'm going to go to the gym right. for 30 minutes. And then tomorrow, I'm going to go for 30 minutes. But I'm going to do this equipment. And then Wednesday, mm-hmm. I'm going to go for 30 minutes. By Thursday, I was thinking it's not enough. My body wanted more. Right. So then I just added more to those workouts. And when those workouts were right. done, my workout done for the day. And then that next week, exactly. it's like, I can do a lot more than that. Now I'm in there for two hours. And now it's just yeah. a part of my day. And when I don't go, I feel real funny. When I yeah, don't, it's a part of my lifestyle now. It's almost like, yes, it's when you feel funny if you didn't eat that day? Yeah. <laughs> It's a part of your lifestyle. You eat every day. You eat every and day. You don't eat. You look. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. <laughs> Something ain't right. I'm starting. To, starting to get the shakes. <laughs> so make small goals. Even if you're in college, right? You gotta make small goals. Like, don't try to read the whole book today. Right. Take 25 minutes a day and read another section, and then the mm-hmm. next day you go back into the section you read read that over and then go into the new section so you're not forgetting a lot but if you try to read the whole chapter today because you got a quiz tomorrow you're not going to retain it on yourself right and you won't really retain it set small goals like all right i'm gonna study for two hours today and did you break it down Mm -hmm. and then tomorrow say all right i kind of remember that so today i only got to study for five minutes the chapter done Wow. And you're retaining more information for the quiz instead of trying to read the whole chapter because the quiz cram everything walking in. to the class that day, trying to cram everything in it. We forget a lot. Right. If you read something today, tomorrow, you're going to forget 37% of it. So if today no you're going to forget right. 37% of what you read yesterday, what you think you're going to remember tomorrow about what you read two days ago? Because there's new information coming. 15%. In. That's mm-hmm. forty five. That, <laughs> that's forty percent of which you didn't read. You didn't forget. Right. It. <laughs> you didn't forget. You didn't forget. You put new inform. You put new information where the old information was at. Instead mm-hmm. of making it small, to where okay, I read this to where I can understand it. So it's not going to go anywhere. Right. Like I don't need to read a book to tell me ice melt when it get hot. Right. You understand <laughs> that. Once you understand you it, understand. you can move on. You got it. It's locked in. Right. So that's one of them hows. Make small goals for yourself that lead to a bigger achievement. Mm-hmm. Don't just think about, I'm going to ace this test. Yeah, you ace the test by understanding all the knowledge that's going to be on it. So break it Good. down into the section, just like a chapter got sections in it. Read the section mm-hmm. at a time. Don't go in there and think, I'm going to read about 300 pages, then I'm going to be done. How many of them 300 right. pages are you going to remember? But if you break it in, I'm going to read 10. I'm not going to go into the next 10 until I understand what these 10 is about. Not remembering them word for word. Understanding what this section is about. So when you get the test and you get a question, it'll remind you of what section that sounds familiar in. You come up with Mm -hmm. the answers a lot easier by not trying to cram the whole chapter. So make small goals. That's what anything you're doing. Make small goals. Make small goals. That's a good one. What's another one? 
We talked about finding a mentor. We talked about uh, breaking a bad habit. Those are good, especially at breaking a bad habit, man. Because people don't think about habit. this one. I'm thinking if this going to be the last one or not. Okay. Make a budget. Budget. A budget. When budget. you just go to the store and you just buying stuff, you have no idea how much you're willing to spend. You just know I can afford it because it's in the bank. But what happens if a tire go flat? Anything. Do you, House catch do on you fire. have money for the groceries and the emergency? Do you have mm-hmm. the money for all the groceries and buy yourself something nice if you want to a budget helps you relieve yeah. stress because you'll know what you can pay for and what you shouldn't buy and what you shouldn't waste your money on and that yeah that's that's good you gotta make a budget because now you know at a certain point well I can invest this much right now I can invest this much later on and I'll be to make some more money then I can invest this much it, you take steps with it so like you said, you budget. Budget for your first step. Uh, okay, this is the startup cost. I'm going to get this for the startup cost. So, you budget your money to get the startup cost for this for this particular niche you join. So, once you join, now you got to learn. You got to invest learning. You got to take the time and learn. That's an investment on yourself. Pay attention, man. Pay attention, man. We giving them to you here, work boss strategy, man. Darv S, Gabe D, man. How you feeling? How you feeling out there? Leave us, leave us, leave a little something in the comment, man. Leave a little something in the comment. Let yeah, us know what, what you want. What kind of goals y'all want to set? What kind of yeah? What kind of goals do you want to set for yourself? Right. Because what you just talked about is that's really my last how is mm-hmm. you have to learn something new, man. Learn something new. Learn yes. something you're interested about and go all in on that interest. Like, right. I'm into health and fitness. So any health and fitness enthusiast or somebody, mm-hmm. that they, they have a hunger to own their own business. You got to focus right. on what will make that happen. Yeah. So what I did is I invested in a side hustle. I budgeted mm-hmm. a specific amount and started a side right. hustle. Exactly. I did that with photography. Mm-hmm. I learned how to be a photographer, and then that grew into me doing video. Wow! And then that those two skills got me on a radio station. Yeah, see, you see how that happened? Just opportunities started coming from other opportunities, and I just mm-hmm. built up. I didn't say I want to be Spike Lee in nine months. I didn't say that. Right. I just, I was interested in those things. I mm-hmm. like doing them. Right. And then once I got that first client that I took pictures for, I said, like, I can get paid. He asked me how much I charge. I wasn't even thinking right. that. I'm just trying to get good at learning the camera. Right. <laughs> like, so how much do you charge for a birthday party? I'm like, hmm. He give me money. Right. He give me money. Wait a minute. <laughs> I could get paid for something I like doing? Right. Take a picture. Invest in yourself. Say cheese. Fifty dollars an right. hour. It was more Come than my on. other job. Yes. Yes. So I said, okay, what I need to do is figure out how to get more people to need pictures taken of. Exactly. And that led me into since I've always done music, I understood musicians need videos. Yeah. So maybe I'll start doing videos there. I was okay. doing pictures for their cover art and doing graphic design and all that kind of stuff. And mm-hmm. then figured out how to make something I was interested in provide an opportunity for me. And then it provided mm-hmm. another opportunity. I started doing videos. And then because I'm doing videos for musicians and this and that, I ended up on the radio. Now I'm interviewing all of these people wow. that have all kind of videos you didn't saw before. Mm-hmm. Right. Bone Thugs and Harmony. Everybody know the first of the month video and the Crossroads video. All these right. artists got videos. Mm-hmm. So when I start doing videography, I'm like, okay, the musicians, I know they're going to need videos. It just provided yeah. me another opportunity because I invested in courses. I invested in equipment that would make sure the job get done. Yep. It's the same thing with this. 
made a budget. Same thing. We said, okay, how do you even start this stuff out? Well, you need somebody. Wow. You need somewhere to put the podcast. You need some equipment mm-hmm. to record the podcast. And you need something that the podcast going to be about. So we made right. a budget and figured out what's feasible. What's feasible. And then all and we the opportunities start coming. And then right. I got into health and fitness and started another side hustle. Right. And it's Two becoming sides. like a main hustle with a yeah. very small investment. I was like, okay, I I go to the gym, so I'm always purchasing like protein powders and this and that. Yep. And then came across a company that had like organic, like I read ingredients now. Like I don't I don't know if it's right. just because I'm older, but I read the ingredients on stuff. And if I can't, mm-hmm. if I gotta Google what that word mean, I don't I don't trust the product. <laughs> then, I just want stuff that's gonna work on me. That's it. So when they said all natural organic, I was like, what? Start taking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then you find mm-hmm. out you can you can make money more you can make more money. Right. So I'm like, oh, this is a this is something I'm interested in it already. Come on. So it wasn't Come hard on. to get into. Right. So creating a side hustle from a budget that you can invest. You only you only invest what you're willing to lose. You don't put your life ah. savings up on something unless it's a for sure shot. And I don't know too many of them for sure shots. Yes. You invest in something and you only invest yeah. what you're willing to lose. I knew I was willing Man, to lose a, good one. a night out on the town. Mm-hmm. A night out on the town for me is going somewhere, buying a couple shots of Jameson, a nice little dinner, 40, 50 bucks. And after right. I leave that place, it's just 50 bucks gone. So starting a business for $50 was like it wasn't even a thought. <laughs> it wasn't, wasn't no brand. At first, right. I was thinking $50 to own my own business. It sounded kind of weird. Mm-hmm. But when I found out what it was, yes. the same products I was taking in the first place at a higher mm-hmm. quality, I was like, oh, that that's going to be easy to sell because I know where all the junk is at yeah. it's at a higher price exactly I was like okay you go to GNC I'm spending 180 bucks and some of the stuff they give you a jug that's two foot high cause you need to take all that before you even see any kind of effect right any kind of result I'm like then you look at the ingredients and it's a lot of fillers and stuff in there that's like simulators of what this natural thing would be i'm like oh okay so it's not all natural so when i got right. into all, this all natural thing and the stuff start working you can absorb it quicker because your body mm-hmm. ain't trying to figure out what all these false things are it just take it right. oh those are green beans oh this is beets oh this is stevia extract this is this this is that your body can absorb it better which means the mm-hmm. results come quicker exactly so exactly when i got into the business side of it i'm like oh this ain't even hard to sell just selling right. products i go to the gym you can prospect it it's just right just a side hustle that i made more the 50 bucks i would i would lose that just spit i would spend it mm-hmm. i would spend 50 bucks yeah every day every weekend. 50 bucks in a weekend 50 bucks that'll bring me more you're money. doing good why not try it why not try it? Instead of going out every single weekend or going out to eat, always going here, always buying this pair of shoes just because they out. A new video mm-hmm. game is $70. So invest what you're willing to lose. Even if you like in the stock market. Right. If you got $3,000 to send your savings, you can't invest all $3,000. If you lose it, you won't have no money. Right. But 300 <laughs> Ain't gonna hurt, right? You got three hundred of it, and then the next time you make some money, you put some in your savings. Maybe you can put three hundred more in there, but you don't mm-hmm. put your whole basket of eggs in one location, right? You only invest in something that you, that you will. And you, it's a possibility that I might lose this, but if I do lose it, it's not gonna make or break me, right? It's not gonna hurt that much. It's just 
a little loss. Now, when you give somebody right. a whole life savings or something, your whole life didn't change. Yeah. So yeah. make an investment on the side hustle that you're willing to lose out on just in case it don't work. Mm-hmm. But we got a side hustle. If yes, you are a health and wellness enthusiast or somebody that wants to own their own business, right? we have one for you. We have one for you. It'll be in the links down below. You just go check yes. it out. Just go check it out. Take the free tour. Yes. Just check it out, man. You can Speaking do it. Speaking of free tours, I took a free tour one time. Mm-hmm. On my social media, I'm scrolling and the guy say, hey, free real estate class. You'll make six figures and this and that. We're not going right. to charge you for anything. So I click on it. Right. The class was the next day. And he sends you a link. You log on. Everybody's in there. And he's telling you about wholesaling where you find these contracts for real estate and this and that. When I got done with that class. The first thing mm-hmm. they asked was, would you like a one-on-one with the CEO right. so he could teach you some more, figure out how to get the contracts, how to what to say on them? I said, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, I'd love that. They said, well, to get a one-on-one with him is $4,995. I was like, if I had $4,900, I'd just go buy a house and flip it. <laughs> if I had $4,000 to just give you for a, a class... I was like, nah, I'm not giving you $5,000. You go take the tour, it costs you nothing. Take the you tour, take it costs you nothing. It don't cost you anything. Yes. We're not going to... You get the put course, your you email in there, man. Couple of, yeah, put your email in there. The email is not for us to send you for a $1,000 setup. This ain't that. This ain't that. Like I told you, I got in for 50 bucks. 50 bucks, I started my side hustle and ain't stopped. This is not one of those schemes where I'm going to try to scheme you into getting on a professional course where I give, go more in depth with you. Nope. If you want to invest in something in the health and wellness industry, which is a billion dollar industry, it ain't going nowhere. We got something in the link in the description that'll work for you. Back, man. They, they didn't want me to give y'all the secret, man. That's what happened. <laughs> the internet chopped us off. <laughs> chopped me off. I was giving you the secret. I'm going to give you the secret anyway. Live good. Health and wellness, man. It's in the description below, man. We was at just about at the end of our time anyway, man. We are so happy that you joined us, man. Keep on joining us every week, every Monday at 6 p.m., man. Work Boss Strategy, a new episode will be coming. We got Gay D, we got Darv S. We out here, man. Today was investing in yourself. The power to income builders, man. Investing right in yourself. Investing in yourself.